It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to share with you how to set manual exposure on the Fuji XS10. This is a great camera. I have it on loan from Fuji for a minute and I am gonna walk through how to set manual exposure. Oh, before we start, you're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. I think we should all hear that every day. The first thing you wanna do is go to the top dial, has something called the PSAM dial. We're gonna take it and turn it so that the line is lined up with the M. So set that down, that stands for manual. Now you're shooting in manual mode. But that's not it, you have to know how to adjust all three points of the exposure triangle. So first we're gonna take a look at aperture. That's set to the front command dial. So you're gonna move the front command dial back and forth and you'll see the f-stop numbers change. Those values, if you bring them lower to a lower number, it'll let in more light, you'll see the picture get brighter. If you move them higher, you'll see the picture get darker. Now that's contingent upon a setting that I'm gonna show you in the menu right now where you can preview exposure and white balance. This is key. You have a mirrorless camera and it lets you see the effects of these changes as you are making them. You're gonna to go to the menu, wrench icon, screen setup, page two, and it says preview exposure and white balance. You're gonna to toggle over, you're gonna select preview exposure and white balance. And that means everything in terms of exposure and white balance that you change in the camera, you'll see it on the screen. That's what you want, that's the key, that's the ticket. All right, now there's something else you need to know about this aperture dial. When you rotate it, uh, to a higher number, not only is it letting in more light, but you're broadening that depth of field. And so that's more appropriate for, or common in landscapes where you want the foreground in focus, the uh, middle ground and the background all in sharp focus. Conversely, if you rotate to a lower number, that's uh, making the depth of field uh, more shallow. And so that's associated with portraits where the subject's in focus and then behind the subject is blurry. So that's something else to know about the effect of the aperture dial. Now let's move to your shutter speed. Now on the Fuji XS10, you have the rear command dial and that's set to shutter speed. So if you rotate it to the left, you'll see the shutter speed go down. The number will become a larger fraction. So it'll go from like one over 100 to one over 60, one over 30. These are larger portions of a second. So it's longer in time, letting in more light. And so you'll see the picture get brighter. And if you roll it the other way, you'll see that the fraction gets a smaller, one over 100, one over 250, one over 500. And that means that you're letting in less light because the shutter is only open for a smaller amount of time. Now, that is associated, meaning a, a quicker shutter speed with capturing motion or stopping motion, or they call it freezing motion. And that's associated with like, sports photography or something active, cars driving or, or bicycles moving, and you wanna freeze that. So uh, faster shutter speed, you can roll that to the right and get that, or you can slow it down, which lets in more light. And that's used for something like astrophotography or light trails where you see the taillights of the car stretched because the shutter is open so long. All right, so not to get too technical, but that is your shutter speed. Now, what I love about this camera is the third part of the exposure triangle is the ISO and that has a dedicated button right on top. You just hit ISO and then when you hit ISO, you're gonna get this uh, ability to change the ISO value with the toggle that's on the back of the camera. You just go up or down. You notice the lower the ISO value, the less sensitive to light or the less bright you'll see. If you um, bump it up and raise the ISO value, your picture gets brighter. Now this comes from film days where you bought like ISO 100 film that was a certain sensitivity to light. And if you got ISO 200, it was more sensitive to light or ISO 400 film was even more sensitive to light. And so we borrow those numbers, even though we don't use film in these cameras, the digital cameras just use that system to, um, to kind of indicate how sensitive to light you want to set the exposure. So um, that is hopefully helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. I love this camera, I love using it, and uh, I will share more uh, uh, before I return it back to Fuji. And hopefully this is helpful. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I know on my analytics that most of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so click that button, ring the bell, 
and uh, join uh, join in and get get more videos on Fuji. And I also do Canon videos, photography and filmmaking. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video.